Good morning everyone. Welcome to the morning devotion praying through the Psalms. My friends, today we are praying Psalm 86. The Psalm is titled as a prayer of David, which means David is also the author of the Psalm, Psalm 86. Now, this is a prayer in times of distress and difficulties, but we do not know under which context under which circumstances or threat David prayed to God. However, David had a number of enemies to face, to deal with. He had Saul on one hand, the Philistines on the other hand, and many others, even his own son as his enemy to deal with. Here, through all verses, we can find David pleading with the Lord, asking of his help to help him out. Now let us pray the psalm, verses 1 through 7. Incline your ear, Lord, and answer me. Incline your ear means, O Lord, give me your ear and answer me. Now here, the author mentions several reasons why he needs God's help. He tells, For I am poor and oppressed. He says he is poor. He is helpless. He depends on God. And oppressed so he is oppressed by the enemies preserve my life for I am devoted wonderful God he tells here he asks God to preserve his life because he is devoted to God he is related to God he is connected to God wonderful save your servant who trusts in you so here he placed his total trust in God and so you know he prays to God he requests God he pleads with God to help him out and next glad on the soul of your servant to you Lord I lift up my soul so here the psalmist is lifting up his soul means he's totally praising God he's totally he's totally depending on God and next Lord, you are good and forgiving, most merciful to all who call on you. So here, he praises God that he is good, that he is forgiving, and that he is most merciful. So that is the reason why the psalmist, one who is being oppressed, one who is in need of help, comes out seeking God's help. And again, there is more pleading. Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for help. On the day of my distress, I call to you, for you will answer me. So there is so much of hope in the heart of the psalmist, David. So he has so much of hope in God, so much of trust in God. And he prays to God this way. He pleads with God to help him out, to rescue him from the enemies. In verses, 8 through 10, we can see the author, the psalmist, praising God, acknowledging God's greatness and his dominion over the creation, over the other gods, so-called gods created by human beings. Verse 8, 9, and 10. None among the gods can equal you, O Lord. So no one is equal to you, O Lord. Nor can their deeds compare to yours. All the nations you have made shall come to bow down before you, O Lord, and give honor to your name. Means, all the nations have been created by this wonderful God, great God. All the nations, not only the nation of Israel, but all the nations, the psalmist would mention here that all the nations have been created by God. And all these nations will come and bow down before you. Verse 10, for you are great and do wondrous deeds, and you alone are God. So here, the psalmist would acknowledge that he is the only God, the God of Yahweh is the only true God, and all the other gods created by human beings are no gods at all. In the next verses, the author, David, conveys a great message to all of us. He has something wonderful, beautiful to offer to all of us. Now let us see what it is in words 11, 12, and 13. 
teach me lord your way that i may walk in your truth here david feels the need to be taught by god so that he can walk in god's way so that he can walk in truth so he prays lord teach me your way and his own he feels is incapable of walking god's way so he feels the need to be taught by god so here we can see david's humility my friends david humbled himself and prayed to god to teach him wonderful verse 13 your mercy to me is great you have rescued me from the depths of sheol so here david remembers god's wonderful deeds in his life god has done great things to him in his lifetime and so now he remembers he recalls he recollects god's mighty deeds to him so now here he prays to god he depends on god he pleads with god to help him out again in the last verses verses from 14 through 17 we can clearly identify two things one the nature of the enemies of david secondly the way david pleaded with god to save him from these enemies from his enemies verse 14 through 17 oh god the arrogant have risen against me so the enemies have been very arrogant very proud a ruthless band has sought my life ruthless cruel people the enemies have been very cruel and very arrogant and they were now trying to kill david thirdly to you they pay no heed they don't listen to you oh god so here the enemies have not only been arrogant and ruthless also they never cared for god god of yahweh so here with this kind of ruthless band david prayed to god to rescue him from these enemies from this type of enemies now next let us see how david prayed to god how he pleaded with god verse 6 16 and 17 turn to me be gracious to me give your strength to your servant save the son of your handmaid see the way he is pleading with god give me a sign of your favor make my enemies see to their confusion that you lord help and comfort me my friends see the way he hoped in god's rescue he hoped in god's help he hoped in god's love for him so here the way he pleaded with the way he pleaded with god to rescue him to save him to protect him from this ruthless band is amazing his confidence his trust his perseverance seeking god's help is really commendable my friends isn't this a beautiful psalm i think this is marvelous psalm we can also pray to god with the same type of mind and spirit with all this thought with this inspiration now we pray psalm 86 Incline your ear, Lord, and answer me. For I am poor and oppressed. Preserve my life, for I am devoted. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, Lord. To you I call all the day. Gladden the soul of your servant. To you, Lord, I lift up my soul. Lord, you are good and forgiving. Most merciful to all who call on you. Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for help. On the day of my distress I call to you, for you will answer me. None among the gods can equal you, O Lord, nor can their deeds compare to yours. 
All the nations you have made shall come to bow before you, Lord, and give honor to your name. For you are great and do wondrous deeds, and you alone are God. Teach me, Lord, your way, that I may walk in your truth. Single-hearted and revering your name, I will praise you with all my heart. Glorify your name forever, Lord my God. Your mercy to me is great. You have rescued me from the depths of shale. O God, the arrogant have risen against me. A ruthless band has sought my life. To you they pay no heed. But you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God. Slow to anger, abounding in mercy and truth. Turn to me, be gracious to me. Give your strength to your servant. Save the son of your handmaid. Give me a sign of your favor. Make my enemies see to their confusion that you, Lord, help and comfort me. Now let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, we thank you, we praise you, we bow down before you. Lord, thank you, Lord, for everything that you do for us. Thank you the way you take care of us each day. Thank you the way you guide us each and every day. Lord, we thank you also for this beautiful and wonderful fellowship It has been so good for all of us all these days and months. Able to come together to praise and thank and adore you this way as one community, as one family, Lord. You helped David in all his struggles, in all his distress. And we hope in your love for us. When we, and we hope in your salvation for us. And we hope in your love for us. We hope in your guidance for us. Lord, as we begin the new day, be with us, guide us, enthuse us. Give us enough strength to walk your way, to walk in truth. Without you, we cannot do anything. We cannot walk your way. We cannot walk in truth without your guidance, without being guided by you. Lord, tremendous was the confidence and trust of David in you. Increase our faith in you. Increase our trust in you. May we know that you are there all the time watching, taking care of us. May this give us enough strength to really do good things for you, for your glory. And bless all your people who watch this program, who participate in praying through the Psalms series. Bless their homes. Bless their near and dear ones. Especially bless those people who feel left out who feel lonely, who feel abandoned, enthuse them. Send your helping hands, your helping people to take care of them. May we be one among them. Lord, help us, strengthen us and protect us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Isn't this a wonderful psalm, my friends? Psalm 86 orients us, guides us, helps us to believe in God because David trusted in God. It also helps us to trust in God. Let us trust in God. Let us hope in his love and care for us. 
Thank you for watching our program, Praying Through Psalms. Kindly keep watching this series on JCKU Creations, both on Facebook page and YouTube channel. You may also spread your word about this program with your friends and other people. They can be part of this and benefit as well. Thank you again. See you next with Psalm 87. Until then, stay blessed.